Hey guys, so Apple has just released a brand new rapid security response. Now in this video, I wanted to explain why it is important for you to update to the latest iOS 16.2, latest security response, and how you get access to this and what this all means for your device. Now, of course, as always, if you would like to stay up to date with the latest iOS news and Apple software updates, of course, don't forget to subscribe and make sure you turn on those notifications so that you don't miss another episode. Now, as I mentioned, this is the first time Apple has released an iOS security response. This is a rapid security patch for your iPhone, and this one is approximately 90 to 100 megabytes, give or take, depending on your device. It is for iOS 16.2. Let me go ahead and show you in settings. If you go into general, and if you're running iOS 16.2, and you go to software update, you'll get the latest security response or rapid security response files for your iPhone. Now, if I go into the about section here, and take a look at the current build number, you see that right here we find two different versions. Of course, this is iOS, which is iOS 16.2 beta 3. And this is the latest rapid security response, as you can see right there for iOS 16.2. Now you can also opt out and you can also remove the security response if you wish to do so. But these files is something that we've seen happen on computers for years, right? You update the security of a computer without having to update the operating system. And this option can also be found if we go to security updates here we go to automatic updates if you don't have the security response and system files enabled this option here if you don't have this enabled this will pop up on your device's screen and you'll be able to update your iphone to the latest security response as you can see right there now i already have it is recommended for all users to install the latest security response and patches for your iphone of course this could be anything from a vulnerability on the iphone which could put your device at a risk so you want to make sure that you go ahead and install this file again if you have this enabled automatically you would have nothing to worry about your iphone should download these files automatically and install your device but if you have all these toggles to off especially the secure response these files may not download to your device so you have to go into settings manually you have to go into general and then software updates and you'll see the latest rapid security response for ios 16.2 again apple doesn't specify what the actual problem or security issue is with the iphone at the moment they may issue a statement later but you want to install this latest patch again if you have a friend or a family member running the latest beta make sure you tell them to go to settings right now and install the latest security response for their iphones and ipads which is available for ipads as well just a super quick video the first ios rapid security response is available right here as you can see thank you for watching guys have a great day and i'll see you on the next one peace